everyone, welcome to my kitchen, Lucky to Cooking. Today I'm going to be making for you some kalalu. Yeah, I have some kalalu bush chopped up already. I have two tablespoons of oil, one and a half tablespoon of golden oil, a teaspoon of salt. I have some garlic powder and ginger powder, teaspoon. I have here half a teaspoon of cook up seasoning, celery and side, a whole pepper. I have some minced garlic, some okra, okra. Here I have some pimentos and chopped onion, some shredded carrot, chopped pumpkin and here I have some coconut milk, one and a half cup. So I take the coconut, I crack it and I take out the, the hocks, grate it or you could blend it and take out the coconut water out of it and strain it properly. And to clean the bush, you just want to cut out this part here and also cut out here and you can peel this what you want to do is take the leaf and rinse it out properly because it have little bugs that's be in these leaves so you want to take that and wash it out very good because you don't want it in the pot and you can chop up this very thin slices so I'm just going to continue. So I'm just going to put my pot to heat up and wait until a minute to put in the oil. So I'm just going to throw in the oil now and wait for about a minute to get that hot. So I'm just going to throw in the garlic. And the onion and let that coat it. I want to leave it for about a minute. So I'm going to show you. So I throw in the pimento. And next I'm going to throw in the side and the celery. Just get that on fill and leave that for half a minute. So I'm throwing in my kalalu bush. So you just want to stir this because you don't want it to stick at the bottom. So I'm just going to throw in the pumpkin now. And the shredded carrots. With the okra or acra. And you can always use squash instead of pumpkin too. I'm just going to leave this to cook for about 15 minutes and you could also put some water to help it cook. So I'm just going to throw in just a little bit of hot water. So after 15 minutes I'm going to come in and check it again. Once it comes up to a boil, you want to throw in your cook up seasoning, garlic powder, ginger powder, and salt. I'm going to get that a stir. Next, I'm going to train the coconut milk. And just leave this to cook for another 15 minutes to 20 minutes. So I'm going to train the golden right now. Just give that a turn. I 
and I want to swizzle this to become nice and soft. So you just want to continue swizzling this for at least five minutes. So at this point I'm going to put the pepper in. And you got to be careful because this is pitch. I'm just going to keep swizzling it until it's done. So here's my Kalaloo recipe. I hope you like it. It's very nice. I taste it and it has enough salt. I thank you guys for watching. This is Trinilla Lakita Cooking. Make it let me know how you find it here. Thank you for visiting me in my kitchen today and I'll see you guys another day with another one of my recipes.